Well, what'd you say, brother? Hell yeah, what's up? Yeah, you don't put them in the sunlight, then you ain't doing it too bright. You ain't doing it too bright if you don't put it in the sunlight. Bring them out the door, man. Get them out the door. Don't keep them in them lights, man, under them fluorescents and them LEDs. Child, please, don't do that. Trigger Man, back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Today, man, what we got here is this Hyundai paint code Z3. Um, real light, light, light silver blue. Um, tricky little color at times. Sometimes it looks good from the face, and then the flop is a little off. But um, it should be all right, it should be all right. Ain't nothing we can't handle in Trigger Land. Uh, today's video is going to be on this here Aero Pro uh, A610 is the model. Uh, I've been spraying with this gun for the past week, trying to feel it out, and uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't feeling it. You know? I purchased this gun myself. A lot of you guys on the channel had asked about this gun, and I know it's a low CFM gun, so it's mainly made for do do it yourself guys from home or mobile guys doing mobile work you know could be professionals out doing mobile work like dent wizard and those other companies so um i purchased a gun and i've been spraying with it and to be honest with you i don't i don't care for it you know what i mean and um i tried it with a little compressor big compressor i really didn't care for it i actually went back onto my amazon to check about returning it but the window of returns was gone so i was gonna put a i was gonna put a 1.7 tip and needle in here and go ahead and just use it for primer but i was like let me let me play around with it let me try some things so what i did man i took the cap off a different gun this is a silver cap the one come on this is a red cap cap off of a different gun and man <laughs> oof <laughs> what trigger man say oh, oof <laughs> Completely different gun. Completely different. You guys saw the, the post I put up on my one of my shorts, a short post, a little, it was a 60 second video spraying with the gun. And I was like, thumb down, spray like doo doo. I'm talking about doo doo brown, like, no good, no bueno, no bueno. You know what I'm saying? And in the, in the comments, a couple guys came and they were like, well, Trigger, when they remade the gun, I guess it used to look a different way. And then they re, not formulated redesigned they redesigned it they said that there were some problems with the air horns and um yeah they were misaligned or something so i was like i don't know about all that man so i went to check in and indeed there were some reviews on a couple sites to where when people people purchased this gun they were saying the same thing so it must be something going on i don't know what it is and i would have had like to come on just like everybody else and say oh the gun spray's good it's awesome but Man, I wasn't gonna fake it, man. I wasn't gonna lie and play and you know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I put the cap on here, this cap. Man, the gun spray is completely different. Night and day, night and day. It's actually enjoyable. This cap is a lot heavier than the other cap. The other cap is, is 10 grams lighter than this. So I, I don't know if this because this is a heavier cap and it's well made, you know, it's made a lot better, quality metal, I don't know, but it's night and day. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it with this, man. We're gonna do one gun. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little wet bed on this. A couple of you guys were complaining when I was saying, get off the wet bed, get off the baby bottle. You know, they're like, oh, trigger, oh, I can't, I can't spray without the wet bed. And da, da, da. So I'll do some videos with the wet bed, some without, you know, just for you guys. But yeah, we're gonna do wet bed. We ain't gonna do no sealer. And we're gonna go ahead and get to it, man. So I'm gonna mess up, mix up. And let's see what this here, <laughs> redesigned by Trigger Man, Aerostar A60 can do. All right, here we go. 40. 40 PSI. And my apologies, man. I forgot to put the wet bed down. Again, I basically only do the wet bed for you guys on YouTube. It's nothing I really normally do. Um, right below the body line, body line there. So, yeah, we'll make this a two in one video. You know, I'm trying out the gun and then also show you guys how to spray without the, getting the wet bed so you see right here spraying it on pretty wet pretty wet again get most of my coverage first coat 
And I think me getting most of the coverage in the first coat is where that kind of helps me with blending without needing that wet bed. So look at the way, the way I'm fanning that out, the way I'm fanning that blend out. And I'm gonna slow it down. At the end of every pass, you see how that gun just flicks out? Flicks, flick. Again, the gun is a couple inches off the panel, maybe four inches off the panel. You know, when you start spraying at real far distance and you're trying to, you know, barely miss the paint on there, you know, that builds up a lot of that sand piling that you get. You know, the streaking, the modeling, everything, you know. Again, look at the end of that gun where it flicks out. Again, I'm right off the panel. I'm going with a slow base reducer. As you see, every time I flick, I flick that, that wrist back, you see the paint just going down towards the end of that bumper there. See the paint just, you just gotta flick your wrist, keep the panel, gun close to the panel, sorry. Again, nothing above that body line, nothing above the body line. Again, the end of every pass, just watch how it fans out. I mean, that's what you need to do, man. You do your metallics this way, and this is a heavy, heavy metallic color here coarse metallics and then I go back as you noticed before I was going kind of diagonal with it now I'm going more horizontal just going over even like kind of like an X pattern in a way in a sense but not really X okay now I'm just going with a quick drop coat over everything and you see not too much paint hitting the edge of that panel on that orange tape you don't see a whole lot of paint over there you know, it's all just mist going with the clear coat now I say same gun, same cap, same everything. And the gun is spraying good, man. This is a high solid clear we use. Same clear I use on all my videos. The Amtec Pro Spray Clear. I'm doing a great job, man. I mean, the gun is faster. It's a whole lot faster with this cap on there. And it's like I said, and like I said, it, it's enjoyable, man. Like, you know, some guns you just spray and they get the job done. You know, you're kind of fighting through it. It's getting the job done. And some guns, you just pull the trigger and you spray in it. And it's enjoyable. That's the only word I can use for it, man. It's like some guns are just enjoyable to spray. Like my LPH, you know, the Iwata, the Segola. You know, those guns are enjoyable. You use some of the DV1 uh, base gun, not the clear gun. See, for me, that, that clear gun, the DV1, is not enjoyable. You know, you want a gun that when you spray it, you know, you enjoy spraying with it. And it could just be me, but I see everybody was was crazy about this gun, and I just I knew something was missing with it, you know. I say it wasn't a horrible spraying gun, but it was just with that original cap, it just I wasn't really seeing what people are seeing, you know. And maybe that's because it's you know the DIY guys are doing it, and they never really use those expensive guns so that's already you're accustomed to but i just knew something was missing man. there was too many people talking about this gun for it to be just a poor performing gun like it was for me in my opinion but um yeah man this was night and day difference i honestly can't believe it and also my Iwata LPH 400, that that um, that um cap fits on here as well. I didn't try to spray with it. It looks a little funny, you know, with the Iwata tip, how it has that, I think it's called the tulip tip, something like that, with the four splits, the way those, those, those nozzles split at the end. And it just, I didn't want to spray with it. It fits on there, it screws on there perfectly, but something just don't look right. So I didn't even attempt it. But this, this cap here fits snug fit perfect and spray beautiful man beautiful I tell you and that's gonna do it man two coats as usual it's gonna take you right off it'll take you right off the um, head mount you know show you what it's looking like no editing no camera trickery and that's all man that's what we got I don't know why I keep calling the damn gun 
Aerostar. <laughs> y'all, y'all excuse me for that, man. You know, I'm new to this good, man. Got it done, got it done. Boy, it's hot as balls in this motherfucker. Godly. Hey, boy, that's what we looking like, though, man. That's what we looking like. Still in the boot, still in the boot, still in the boot. In the boot, boot. That's what I'm playing, looking like. Hey, man, I forgot the damn wet bed, too, man. I said I was going to do the wet bed, and I forgot, man. I apologize. To be honest with you guys, man, I only do the wet bed for YouTube. Like, that's nothing that I even really do in real life. So I try to do it for you guys, but I just forgot, man. I got to spraying and getting with it, and my apologies on that, you know. But hopefully, maybe this video will help show you, like, really don't need it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna do videos with it, but I really did forget on this one. Hey, and with this here, man, with this cap on this gun, whoo, I like it, boy. It's enjoyable, the gun is enjoyable. Like I said, I was gonna return it. I looked at my, my Amazon purchase, it passed the window, but now with this cap, like, it's enjoyable, man. The thing, it was, it was, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I know I don't, I don't BS you, man. You know what I'm saying? I say I like it. Sugar man likey. Sugar man likey a lot. The gun is enjoyable with this cap. Only thing, man, I'm not gonna tell you guys which gun this cap came off of yet because I haven't sprayed with that gun. You know, I got that gun around the same time I got this one and I didn't even use that gun yet. I mean, this was such a big hype. Everybody wanted to know about this, so I've been trying to figure out this. Like, is it something that I miss? Why everybody love it? You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if you guys' guns are the same way, if that horn misalignment is a problem. Hey, my bad, man. My battery on my GoPro went dead. Um, what the hell was I saying? Yeah, I don't know if the air horn thing is a problem on all the guns. Maybe it was just mine, or maybe that's just the way the guns spray. And some of you guys who spray these guns here, maybe you never spray quality guns, so you don't really know the way it's supposed to spray. I mean, you still get good a good result with it. You know, I was getting good finishes with the original cap, but I just know it was something missing, man. You know what I mean? It was something missing. And um, yeah, I think it's the cap. So again, I haven't sprayed with that gun that the cap came off of. I want to spray that gun at least by itself. So this will be part one here. But part two, I'll show you guys the other gun. I'll spray with the other gun, and then we can go from there, man. But um, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Like I said my GoPro dead, so I'm doing this from my phone, so I don't even know how this here gonna look. But yeah, man, I like it. I like it. But anyway, go trigger man, about to get up out of this heat, man. Go find some AC and eat some lunch. We'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, that's what we looking like. That we looking like out the door. That we looking like out the door. In the sunlight. In the sunlight. You gotta tell them boys, take them outside in the sunlight. Make sure they're done right. Ain't that B-Boy? What you say, brother? Hell yeah, what's up? Yeah, you don't put them in the sunlight, then you ain't doing it too bright. You ain't doing it too bright if you don't put it in the sunlight. Bring them out the door, man. Get them out the door. Don't keep them in them lights, man, under them fluorescents and them LEDs. Child, please, don't do that. Bring it in the sunlight. But yeah, that's what we looking like, man, off the cheapo gun. I did this with old low CFM gun for the DI wires or DI wires, how you call it? Yeah, man, little cheapo. We get it done right, El Cheapo, Chapo. But yeah, man, so this is what we looking like out the door. Cheap gun, Aerostar. Catch y'all in the next one. Man, I don't know why I keep calling that gun an Aerostar. It must be an Aerostar gun out there somewhere. Something, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what we looking like out the door. And uh, that was my boy J-Bo, came by to hang out with old Trigger Man for lunch. He's a body tech here at our local Lexus dealership in South Florida. I think the boy on vacation, just come come by hang out with old Trigger. But um, yeah, man, so that's going to do it on this one. This will be part one. Uh, next video, we'll definitely use the cap with the gun that it came off of, spray with it. And that when, that's when I tell you guys you know, where the cap actually came from. Um, the gun is enjoyable spraying with, man. Let me know if you guys out there got this gun, and if the if it sprays a little finicky, a little funny, you know, something seemed like it just ain't right to you either. I know it got to be some more people out there, man. You know, you guys let me know. Chime in, drop it in the comments, and let me know if you sprayed with the gun. If it's flawless, you get beautiful finishes or what. But anyway, boy, Trigger Man signing off. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and please tell his girlfriend. Peace.